Hey guys, it's Jeb here, and in today's video, Bitcoin price could surpass $15,000 this week, says Bitcoin maximalist and early investor Max Kaiser. We'll be looking at this tweet a little bit later and diving into his prediction here, but before we get into that, we also need to do some technical analysis on the shorter term and longer term charts here on Bitcoin, because on the longer term charts on Bitcoin, specifically on the three daily chart, as we can see, we've just had a golden cross, and it turns out that this is only the second golden cross in the entire history of Bitcoin out on the three daily chart. So we're going to be looking at that later as well. I also want to dive into a bit of a news story here about South Korea declaring a partial regulatory freeze zone in the city of Busan. We'll be discussing that later. And I also briefly want to touch on the Litecoin having as that is coming up tomorrow. Anyway, guys, we've got a lot to get into in today's video. So if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you are new here, or if you're an old time subscriber, make sure you hit that notification bell because sometimes YouTube won't push a video to your subscription feed. The only way to counter that, unfortunately, because of the way YouTube is set up is to use that notification bell. So make sure you hit that. I do also want to remind you that we are running that sale on the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy. We're going to go ahead and run this through the end of Monday. So if you want, you have a couple more days to dive on in. There's a $40 off coupon code in the description down below. Anyway, guys, without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive on into some short-term technical analysis to kick things off here. As you guys know, Bitcoin's been bullish here for the last couple of days, and I'm very happy with where we're looking. Right now, I'm looking for resistance on Bitcoin in several different areas. I'm looking for resistance kind of in this zone right here. As you can see, over here, guys, we have a lot of trading over here that is going to provide quite a bit of resistance in between about $10,900 and about $11,200 to $11,400. Somewhere in that zone, we're going to be seeing a lot of resistance over the coming days. If we're able to actually make it through that, then I'm going to be very happy with where Bitcoin is going. If we are able to make it through that, I do expect that we should be able to move higher. But of course, this resistance is going to tell us whether or not we're going to be able to do that. As you can see, Bitcoin actually came down here and has set a level of support here on this VPVR line right down here at around 11000 $1,600 overnight. Had a little bit of a correction. This isn't anything to be really concerned about, but it is something we need to keep an eye on. We don't want this growing into anything larger. One thing to point out though, is that on the four hourly chart, we have crossed bearish. That's not really the end of the world because it is only the four hourly chart, but we do want to keep an eye on that because that is not a bullish indicator. Out here on the daily chart, guys, we still have our bullish cross on the MACD. RSI is still in general moving to the upside. We're a little bit red today. We've been green for five days, guys, and we are still technically in a downtrend. So it's to be expected that we would see a bit of red today and maybe on into tomorrow. That doesn't mean that the little pseudo rally that we're in right now is over. It just means that we need a little bit more time to gear up. Anyway, guys, I also want to come out here to the three daily chart, which is not a chart we look at very often here on the channel. But on this chart, something very interesting and very important happened just a few days ago. If you guys had any doubts in your mind as to whether or not we were in a bull market and whether or not Bitcoin is well and truly probably about to moon over the next couple of years, I think this will quell your concerns. If we turn on our moving averages here, we have our 50 moving average and our 200 moving average out here on the three daily chart, what we'll see is that the 50 has just crossed north bullish here through the 200, causing a bullish cross, a golden cross to be exact. And the fact is, we haven't seen one of those in a very long time. We have to go all the way back over here to about January 28th or so, the end of January in 2016. That was the last time we saw one of those, and guess where we saw that? At the very beginning of the last bull market, guys. The last time we saw a golden cross like this was right here at the beginning of this bull market. There was the beginning, there was the end, here's the beginning, here's where Bitcoin is right now. That's what's to come. Um, that's why this is so important is because these things do typically happen at the beginning of bull markets. I say typically, this is only the second time it's ever happened. So there's not like a very well-defined pattern or anything. But as you can see, if we look back into history here, guys, this has never happened before other than right here at the beginning of 2016. So this does bode very well. There's not a whole lot that we need to discuss on that. I just wanted to bring it up and let you guys know that something very bullish has just happened. This and many other things that are going on in the chart and in the fundamentals are going to continue to propel Bitcoin forward over the coming days, weeks, months, and years. Anyway, guys, there wasn't actually a lot of technical analysis to dive into in today's video, but there are many news stories I want to look at. The first of which we're going to be discussing has to do with South Korea. As you guys know, South Korea is a pretty big fan of cryptocurrency, and there's been a lot of development in the space coming out of the little island peninsula. I mean, technically it's a peninsula, but for all travel purposes, South Korea may as well be an island. As we can see here, Busan has been declared a regulation-free zone for blockchain development by South Korea's national government, a move long expected but now formalized as part of a larger liberalization push. The Ministry of SMEs and Startups announced on July the 24th that the second largest city in the country by population will host a wide range of blockchain offerings related to finance, public safety, and tourism, though it stops short of fully opening the market and allowing for international level crypto initiatives, according to Korea Herald. A total of 11 regulations have been lifted for the project. It is expected that investors will move 29.9 billion won, or about 25 million US dollars, into the region by 2021, and the development will spread between the, let's see, Munyan Innovation Districts and the Sintum Innovation Districts 
districts and the Dongsam Innovation Districts. I think I got those right. Tell me in the comment section if I did or not. Anyway, there's not much of a reason to read on through the rest of this. I implore you to do so if you are interested, but the main reason I brought this up is because it's just another one of those adoption stories, guys. I'm going to keep throwing them at you because I want you guys to understand how important this stuff is getting. I remember back in the day when I got into cryptocurrency, a little over two years ago, back when I was getting into cryptocurrency, the bullish news stories that we would hear would be like, oh my gosh, a Bitcoin ATM got installed at a Circle K here on the corner of this street in downtown uh, Kansas City or something. I mean, that was the big, that was the big news story back then. Now we're having stuff like South Korea, their government, the, you know, the national one, the government declaring entire cities as regulation free zones for cryptocurrencies. It's crazy how far Bitcoin can go in two years. It's crazy how much can happen in two or three years. And cryptocurrency is a great example of that. It's moving very, very quickly. And I love seeing development stories like this. I mean, there's one every single day. You go on Coindesk, Cointelegraph, all these news sites. There's always a news story like this. And we're not talking small news stories either. We're talking big ones. But anyway, guys, I think you get the reason that I brought this up. I want to keep bringing just kind of small but common news stories like these to the attention so that you guys understand just how bullish things are becoming and just how widespread Bitcoin is becoming. Anyway, guys, moving on here to the next news story. I do want to briefly discuss the Litecoin halving because the Litecoin halving is coming up tomorrow, as we can see here on the Litecoin block reward halving countdown. Such an eloquent title here. We have about 22 hours before the block reward drops here early tomorrow. We're estimating it's going to happen around 11 a.m. tomorrow. If you do want more information on the Litecoin halving, I do encourage you to watch the video linked in the top right. In yesterday's video, we talked all about the Litecoin halving and everything you need to know. So if you're interested, you can watch that there. Moving on here, guys, we have a little bit more news to get to because Max Kaiser, a very big name in the cryptocurrency markets, you've probably heard of him before. He's a Bitcoin maximalist and he's also a very early investor in Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space. And he's not exactly a fan of the US dollar. Thinks that Bitcoin could surpass $15,000 this week. Guys, Bitcoin's only trading around $10,700. It's funny to say only $10,700 when that's a low. And uh, the high for Bitcoin used to be like 100 bucks back when this guy got into the market. Point is, he thinks that Bitcoin could surpass $15,000 this week. Let's go to the horse's mouth because he says it right here on Twitter. I'm sensing Bitcoin will cross $15,000 this week. Confidence in central governments, central banks, and centralized fiat money is at a multi-decade low. While I completely agree with him, I'm not totally sure that we're going to cross 15k quite so soon. I don't personally see any technical indications or any signs that we're going to see some kind of gigantic rally that quickly. Within the next month or so, I might be able to see, but in his opinion, we're going to pass it during this week. On Twitter, he also replied to himself and said, I'm confident, so I just burned another $10,000 in the US dollar crap coin. Correlation does not equal causation, but whenever I burn a few thousand US dollars, Bitcoin price goes up significantly. Well, go ahead and DM me whenever you're about to do that. I'll make some trades based off of it. I would be very appreciative if you were to do that, Mr. Max. But anyway, guys, I am very confident on Bitcoin as well, and I think the next couple of weeks and the next couple of months are going to bring very good things for the cryptocurrency. Whether or not we're going to be able to hit all the way up here to 15k by the end of the week is yet to be seen. I kind of doubt it. Even Bitcoin doesn't really move that quickly. If we were to look over here, for example, Bitcoin moved $6,000 in 17 days back over here. We could potentially see Bitcoin move $4,000 in four days, but I really just don't think that's going to happen, guys. We'd have to do something like that. But of course, I could see that happening later on by the end of this month, potentially. One thing I forgot to touch on that I do want to touch on before we wrap the video up here would be Litecoin again, because I wanted to show you guys something. If we look over here in Google Trends, we can see that the keyword Litecoin has actually been getting a lot more interest over the last several months, having a peak over here sometime about halfway through June. And interestingly enough, if we actually look at the chart here, that mirrors our chart pretty closely. If we look at this, basically Litecoin interest was going up as Litecoin was rallying here all the way up to around $140. I would wager that a large part of this had to do with altcoins doing relatively well and also because of the Litecoin halving coming up. Now that the halving is coming up, we see that we're in a consolidation pattern right here. There very well may be a trade to be made from this, guys, but normally when the day of the halving comes, that doesn't actually have a very big impact. The impact that the halving has has to do with the actual hype cycle around it, and a lot of that has already been factored into the price. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. I do want to encourage you guys to check out the Cryptocurrency Technical Analysis Academy if you haven't already, because guys, I'm going to be very straightforward with you. If you want to get into this space and you want to learn how to work in these markets, profit in these markets, invest, trade in these markets, whatever you want to do in these markets, if you're going to take it seriously, you need to take your education in this market seriously. Bitcoin looks simple enough to some people. It looks very complicated to others, but no matter how it looks to you, it is a complex system and it does have a lot of moving parts. And if you want to understand how these markets work, which is a requirement for understanding how to make money in these markets, then you're going to need to have an education in cryptocurrencies. I did it the old fashioned way. I did it where I just sat behind a computer screen and looked at stuff for about two years and learned it that way. If you want to do it that way, go right ahead. But two years from now, this Bitcoin bull market is going to be coming to an end and we're going to be going into a bear market. What you don't want to do is learn how to do all this cryptocurrency technical 
technical analysis the old-fashioned way, the hard way, the expensive way during the bull market, and then you learn all of that, and then a bear market comes, and then it's not as easy to make money in a bear market. Guys, time is money, money is time. I'm not selling you a course, I'm not selling you information, I'm selling you time. If you want to learn how to trade these markets in a much more timely manner and spend the next week learning instead of the next couple of years learning for a very small price for what you're getting, in my opinion, I do highly recommend you check us out in the description down below. We do have a $40 off coupon code, 25K2019, going down there if you're interested in joining. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to do it for today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you're new here also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I do really encourage you guys to hit that notification bell because lately YouTube has not been pushing videos to the subscription feed of subscribers. So people haven't been aware that videos have been going out. If you push the notification bell, that's the only way to circumvent that. So you'll always be notified whenever a video goes live. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I do want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.